when I was coming up I just wanted to play baseball and I'm doing what I love to do most how can I feel pressure doing what I love to do guys this is an awesome quote by Miguel Cabrera in this video you're gonna see the top 10 baseball players of all time hope you enjoy the video and I'll see you in the next one Babe Ruth George Herman Ruth Jr., better known as Babe Ruth, was an American professional baseball player whose career in Major League Baseball spanned 22 seasons, from 1914 through 1935. Yes best player ever to play the game because he hit in the dead ball era and hit the ball with power to all fields. He would have had another 40 to 50 home runs in the 1925 season if he was not suspended because he was having marriage problems with his first wife. Thank God his second wife helped him and he hit the record of 60 home runs in the 1927 season a record that stood until Roger Maris hit 61 in 1961 as a Yankee. Henry Aaron came to bat 2,000 times more than the Babe and if they did not walk Ruth so much he would have hit 800 or more home runs. He would have been a great manager as well but was never given the opportunity because of prejudice. He was as good as a pitcher as anyone in either league at the time in his career as a Boston Red Sox pitcher. He saved the game because of the 1919 Chicago White Sox scandal where people would have lost interest in the game if it were not for the Babe hitting home runs when others were not hitting them. He made the game our national pastime. 2. Willie Mays Willie Howard Mays Jr., nicknamed the Say Hey Kid, is an American former Major League Baseball center fielder who spent almost all of his 22-season career playing for the New York San Francisco Giants before finishing with the New York Mets. It's hard to decide who is better but they're all really amazing but based on overall it is about skills and athleticism. Willie Mays and Jackie Robinson were so fast for baseball players baseball does not take as much speed as some other sports but it takes speed too and Willie also has lots of strength and endurance. Athletes like Babe Ruth would naturally have more strength. Also Willie Mays was more athletic and he had the best skills. He is an amazing legend he could hit more home runs on a regular basis he could be a little better than Babe Ruth they're both so good. Willie Mays had better hitting than pitching and better pitching than catching. He was really good for all of that. A record can always be broken in every 60 years however it is also about trying your best and passion for sports. 3. Hank Aaron Henry Louis Aaron, nicknamed Hammer, or Hammer and Hank was a retired American Major League Baseball right fielder who serves as the senior vice president of the Atlanta Braves. I think Aaron should be above Willie Mays because Aaron was three times better than Mays. Of course, he never hit 50 homers in a season, but he had lots of 40 homer seasons. What's surprising is that even though Henry Aaron had more total bases than anyone else, he had a lower slugging percentage than guys like Mays, Hank Greenberg, and Ted Williams. While Babe Ruth was a great player, Aaron was the greatest hitter of all time. Because Ruth was a great hitter and a great pitcher, and Aaron was a great all-around player. If you take away all of his 755 home runs, he would still have 3,000 career hits because he had 3,771 hits in his career and you subtract the total number of home runs from that and he would have 3,016 hits in his career. He had a huge amount of doubles and he had nearly 100 triples in his career. 4. Ted Williams. I can't argue Babe Ruth as number one for the fact that his pitching was as elite as his hitting. As far as number two that's tougher. Hank Aaron number three no way, and don't get it twisted I love Hank Aaron. But you see there's an unrecognized stat that I can understand my generation, born, 79, not knowing, but it disappoints me that our elders ignore this and don't ever mention it to younger generations. That is that Ted Williams stopped playing baseball and enlisted in the Air Force as a fighter pilot for six years in the prime of his baseball career. So as far as my logic tells me the question is who is number two. I have to put Mays and Williams as a tie as Williams was the greatest hitter ever and if you were to modestly calculate what his stats would have been if he didn't miss six years he blows everyone away period bar none. Yet Mays was a greater fielder one of the best ever so it's hard for me to decipher which was better because I can only look at stats and a little film. It's up to unbiased knowledgeable experts to make a case for this. Ok here's the kicker. I have number 1 Ruth, number 2 Mays and Williams, here it goes folks number 4 Ken Griffey Jr, then number 5 Hank Aaron. 
I haven't even gone as far on the list past Hank Aaron and will momentarily see Griffey's rank but he may well be the greatest ever. 5. Ty Cobb. Cobb is number one end of debate. Look at just about every offensive statistical category out there and this Tiger great retired atop or near the top of almost all of them when he retired. Who else can say that? Ruth. No. Bonds. No. Mays. No. Aaron. No. Rose. No. How many of these guys hit over .400? A. None. Cobb did it three different times. Cobb also retired near the top of the all-time putouts and assists records for outfielders so he wasn't just a great hitter who couldn't play defense, a la Ted Williams. I don't know what the official, criteria or template, is to determine who the greatest player ever is but there isn't a single player who excelled in more areas of the game than Ty Cobb. 6. Lou Gehrig. Henry Louis Gehrig, Nicknamed, The Iron Horse, was an American baseball first baseman who played his entire professional career in Major League Baseball for the New York Yankees, from 1923 until 1939. Gehrig was renowned for his prowess as a hitter and for his durability, which earned him his nickname, The Iron Horse. He was an all-star seven consecutive times, a triple crown winner once, an American League most valuable player twice, and a member of six World Series champion teams. 7. Mickey Mantle. It is difficult to compare an outfielder like Mantle to an infielder or a pitcher or catcher but Mickey Mantle had great speed along with a strong arm in center and terrorized both left and right-handed pitchers with his power and average from both sides of the plate. The fact that he played in Yankee Stadium with its short fences doesn't factor into his home run numbers due to the fact that he consistently hit tape measure home runs and still has three that have never been duplicated. He also hit under pressure in key playoff situations. Playing injured and compromised by his destructive lifestyle that he admitted throughout the second half of his career he was still one of the most dominant players in the game. He was a charismatic athlete and if you were old enough to remember his playing days then you know what I mean. The only other player who looked superhuman almost on a daily basis was Bo Jackson. 8. Jackie Robinson. Jack Roosevelt Robinson was an American professional baseball player who became the first African American to play in Major League Baseball in the modern era. Broke the color barrier. Changed the course of baseball. That's all I can say. Might not be the best player, but he changed the game the most and had the biggest impact. Bigger impact than even Babe Ruth. I could easily vote for Willie Mays, but no baseball player changed the game today, made everyone play together, not separated, Jackie Robinson earns everyone's respect. As a Giants fan I think Jackie Robinson should be the only athlete in the world to be idolized because of what he did, the pain he went through alone tells you that he's a revolutionary athlete. 9. Ken Griffey Jr. George Kenneth Griffey Jr. nicknamed, Jr., and, The Kid, is an American former professional baseball outfielder who played 22 years in Major League Baseball. Think about this look at his numbers now and think he had five prime years taken away from him. There is no doubt about it he would have literally have had every record in the book hours, RBIs, hits and maybe gold gloves. He also changed the way baseball was marketed the way Magic and Bird did in the NBA he made baseball relevant and cool again. And forget Bonds and everyone else he was the best player of his generation not to mention he just got the highest voting percentage in the history of the Hall of Fame what does that tell you? 10. Walter Johnson. No doubt Walter Johnson was the better pitcher between himself and Cy Young. I have read probably 25 biographies of Hall of Famers, mostly notable hitters between 1880s to 1930s. All of them told of Walter Johnson and Christy Mathewson not one mentioned how tough it was hitting off Cy Young. Plus the guy pitched nearly every other game, giving him more opportunities to win games. Just imagine how many games Walter could have won if he were not in a three or four man rotation. The greatest pitcher ever, and remember pitching is 90% of the game. Don't get star struck by the babes homers or ties hits. Johnson did more for his team than any other player. For an entire decade, 1910-1919, he won 265 games, which was 34% of all the games won by the Senators. He won 417 total games as a Senator. No pitcher or ball player was more valuable to their team. Guys, awesome you made it this far into the video. 
uh, please give this video a thumbs up please subscribe to the channel it will help me a great deal uh, let me also know in the comments what other top 10 videos you would like to see and i'll see you in the next one